Hi, welcome back. Consider the code we used in previous lesson. Let us remove the offset added in the previous lesson. Add border style to the container element to check how much space container and column takes. Here, observe that container class has added padding right of 15 pixel and padding left of 15 pixel. This made column one div element to start after 15 pixels of space. Ideally, the column should occupy entire width of the container. We will use a row element to make the column occupy entire width of the container. Create a div element and assign class row to it. Place the column inside the row. This is how it looks. Now, there is no padding right or padding left. The padding given inside the container class has become margin for row class. So, row class gives minus 15 pixel margin left and minus 15 pixels margin right to cut the padding given by the container. These are the CSS properties of the row. You will see negative margin of minus 15 pixel on the left and on the right. Now, the column class takes entire width of the container element. It is always advised to start with one row and then add its columns. Then close the row and start a next row again if there are columns below the first row. So, entire layout can be divided into rows and columns using Bootstrap. This is called grid system in Bootstrap. To know more about grid system, visit the official manual of the Bootstrap. The link to Bootstrap grid system is given in the helper text. Thank you.